Hi, this is question number 7 from the AQA Call 2 January 2015 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video and try the question now. Okay, um, well done if you managed to have a go. I'm now going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering this question. Okay, we're given this diagram here and we're told the equations of the two curves shown are y is equal to 1 plus root x and y is equal to um, 4 times x to the power of 9. Okay, um, part A says describe the geometrical transformation that maps the graph of y is equal to root x onto the graph of y is equal to 1 plus root x. So you need to think about what's happened to my y coordinate here. How has it changed? as this has turned into this and what transformations actually happened. Okay, part said describe the geometrical transformation that maps the graph of y is equal to 4 to the power of x onto the graph of y is equal to 4 to the power of x over 9. So my x here has been replaced by x divided by 9. So what transformation um, happened in this kind of scenario and what has actually happened here? Part B says, given that um, root x, um, the integral of root x between the limits of 0 and 9 is equal to 18, find the value of the integral of 1 plus root x between the limits of 0 and 9. So using our information here and the transformation that took place, we should be able to have a quick way of working out how much this has increased by over here and therefore say what the value of this actually is. Part 2 says use the trapezium rule with five ordinates or four strips to find the approximate value of this integral given our answer to one decimal place. So when we're using the trapezium rule we're told that there's four strips and we've got the limits between 0 and 9 so we want to draw ourselves a table and we've got our x coordinate and our y coordinate here. Okay, so um, our first value is obviously going to be 0 over here. And because we've got four strips, we want to divide 9 by 4. So um, half it, half it again, 4.5, 2.25. So that's going to be 0. That's going to be 2.25, 4.5. 6.75 and finally 9. So that's 5 ordinates, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we split it into 4 strips. Okay, we then want to work out what our y coordinate is going to be for each of these um, and then use our formula to work out um, an approximate value for the integral. And then part 3 says, hence find an approximate value for the area of the shaded region bounded by the two curves and state with an explanation whether your approximation will be an overestimate or an underestimate of the true value of the area of the shaded region. So we've just got an approximation for this using the trapezium rule. So because this is going to be split into trapezium, it looks like we're going to be because of the way that this is curving downwards, it looks like we're going to be overestimating. So what's that going to tell us about the area of the shaded region? So what we've done here is an overestimation, but what does that tell us about the area of the shaded region? Okay, um, if you'd now like to pause the video and have a go answering the questions yourself. Okay, for the last part of this video, I'm going to go over the answers to each of these questions. So for part A, it said describe the geometrical transformation and maps y is equal to root x onto y is equal to 1 plus root x. Well, that's going to be a shift of 1 upwards. So um, that's going to be a translation then. And it's going to be 0 across and 1 up. So it's going to be a translation of 1 upwards. OK, part said describe the geometrical transformation that maps this onto this. Well, x has been replaced with x over 9. Um, so that's going to be a stretch 
of factor 9 in x direction yeah okay or parallel to the x-axis okay um, part B says given this here uh, we want to find the value of this integral here so the integral of root x um, between 0 and 9 is 18 so 1 plus root x well because this has been a translation of a shift of 1 upwards that means that we're going to have an extra 1 by 9 rectangle that's going to fit under that so that means that this is going to be an increase of 9 of this so you could integrate it if you wanted to um, but I can see that because it's been translated upwards um, by one unit that's going to create an extra 9 by 1 area so that's going to be 18 plus the extra 9 area which is 27 okay so the value of this integral is in fact going to be 27 part 2 says use the trapezium rule with 5 ordinates so we, st we set this up over here I'm now going to plug in my values so 4 to the power of 0 over 9 to so 4 to the power of 0 is going to be 1 um, 4 to the power of 2.25 over 9 um, let's put that into my calculator so 4 to the power of 2.5 is going to be equal to 1.414 1.414 and then we've got 4 to the power of 4.5 over 9 which is going to be the same as 4 to the power of a half right 4.5 over 9 is a half um, and 4 to the power of a half is root 4 so that's just going to be 2 and then we've got 4, point, 4 to the power of 6.75 over 9 so Six point seven five, and that gives us two point eight two eight. Two point eight two eight, and then um, we've got four to the power of nine over nine, which is four to the power of one, which is just going to be four. Okay, so um, using my trapezium rule, I've got my two. I'm going to have my area my area is going to be equal to um, a half times the width which is going to be 2.25 and I'm going to times that by um, my two end ordinates so that's going to be 1 plus 4 plus 2 times my mid ordinate which is going to be 1.414 plus 2 plus 2.828 okay so in my calculator I'm going to have a half times 2 0.25 times and I'm going to have 1 plus 4 plus 2 times 1.414 plus 2 plus 2.828 and that gives me 19.6695 so to one decimal place that's going to be 19.7 okay um, so that's going to be the answer for part two over here now for part three it says hence find an approximate value for the area of the shaded region 
bound by the two curves and state with an explanation whether you think it's going to be an overestimate or an underestimate of the true value of the area of the shaded region. So to find the area of the shaded region, well, we've just worked out this part here um, underneath that curve, and that's going to be 19.7. We worked out earlier that this here, everything from um, underneath this bit here, is going to have an area of 27. So I need to do 27, which is all of this, take away the bit underneath, and that will leave me with a gray shaded part. So I've got 27 take away, so my area is going to be equal to 27 take away 19.7, and that's going to be equal to 7.3. Um, and that there is going to be my area. Now, because this bit here, what we worked out over here, was an overestimate, and I now know that this is at the exact amount, um, this 27 is the true amount, so I've got my true amount and I'm taking away my overestimate, so that means that this here, has to be an underestimate. So I've got my um, true amount subtract an overestimate leaves me leaves us with an underestimate. Okay, so my true amount subtract and overestimate leaves me with an underestimate. Okay, I hope you found that video useful. Thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.